To make sense of the derivative of the square root of x plus 1, we got to think about the chain rule, because this is a composite function. The outside function, which we might call f, is the square root function. And the inside function, which we might call g, is this x plus 1. Let's take the derivative. You should recall that radicals can be written as powers, and when it comes to taking derivatives, we much prefer to write them as powers. So the first thing we should do is rewrite the square root of x plus 1 as x plus 1 to the power of 1 half. That's the same as a square root. Then we can go ahead and apply the power rule to this outside function. The outside function is the square root, which is that power of 1 half, the power rule says we need to bring that power down as a factor, and then by the chain rule, we're not going to change that inside function, x plus 1, we leave that alone. Finishing the power rule, we have to reduce the power by 1. 1 half minus 1 is negative 1 half. Then by the chain rule, we also need to multiply by the derivative of the inside function. But in this case, the inside function, x plus 1, has a derivative of 1. So we would just multiply by 1, and we don't really need to write that. And so that's the derivative. If you prefer to avoid negative powers, we could write this as 1 divided by 2 times. We can move this into the denominator to get rid of the negative power. And then the 1 half is the same as the square root. So it's the square root of x plus 1 in the denominator. And that's how to find the derivative of the square root of x plus 1 using the chain rule. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions, and be sure to check out my Calculus 1 course and Calculus 1 exercises playlists in the description for more. Thanks for watching.